So good morning. How are y'all doing? So today is Sunday, um, January the 8th. So this is Sunday and we are in my kitchen. Can you tell? <laughs> so today I want to show y'all what I do for Charlie. Um, I make pig ears for Charlie. Is a package of pig ears that I get at the grocery store and um, I make these pig ears for Charlie because Charlie's doctor when he was a baby well maybe not a baby he was probably a couple of years old or two or three years old um, I started to get in Charlie some pig ears from a friend of mine because she gave them to her dog and so I brought home a few of them, and he just loved them. And so I decided that I was going to buy him some. So I bought him some. You know, you can get them at the pet store or uh, maybe at a lot of stores in their pet supplies. Uh, there are pig ears that are already dehydrated. And uh, Charlie's doctor said that she didn't really want Charlie uh, eating uh, those processed pig ears. And I was like, well, how come? And she was like, well, because they got so many preservatives and chemicals in them uh, in the process that uh, she didn't really think that Charlie needed them since he was already having health problems with seizures and stuff. So um, I have a dehydrator. I had it at the time. So I just went and bought him some pig ears and, and started dehydrating them for him. And, she said, that's fine. <clears throat> so Charlie just loves pig ears, and we put them in this dehydrator and dehydrate them. And I want to show y'all part of the process of how, how I do that. So I'm just going to open them up. Now, <coughs> they're a little bit tough because, like I said, they're pig ears. But, um, yeah, you know, this is too big for Charlie. Now, my friend, she gave her dogs these, and she would just uh, give them to them whole. And they would just lay around on the floor and stuff. But um, I don't like to do that with Charlie. But... <coughs> These little things are tough, and they're hard to cut with regular scissors. So, sometimes we get these big shears out. Now, the big shears will cut them like that. So, all we do is cut them in strips like this and put them in the dehydrator so they are tough and they're very very hard for me to cut up but <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these into strips and then I'll be back and I'll show you how we put them in the dehydrator. Okay, it's the last one, last cut. Okay, so we got them cut. All here. Now, I'm going to put them in this dehydrator. So, we'll just lay them in here. Some of these are kind of big. I don't have to cut it some more. Maybe that one's 
too. Like I said, Charlie just loves these pig ears. Some of these don't lay very flat. Now all we have to do is plug it in and wait. Okay, so it's plugged in. So this is going to take at least a couple of days. So it's just going to stay in here. And I'm going to come back and show you when it starts to dehydrate a little bit. So you can see the process, how it looks. But, um, yeah, so Charlie's got him some pig ears in the dehydrator. When he starts smelling them, he'll be in here sniffing up at the stove. He knows that they're pig ears, and he gets so excited about it. <laughs> okay, so Charlie's pig ears have been in the dehydrator about six hours, and you can already tell they're starting to... Um, get a little different color on them than they did this morning. So I just wanted to give you all a peek in there. But I have these vents on the top and I will shut it down to just where it's just one little vent open so that um, he's got one, two, three, four, five layers in there of pig ears. So I'll get back with the end let you look at them um, like before I go to bed tonight and let you see uh, how tasty they're going to look. <laughs> okay, there we are in the kitchen. Got to check Charlie's pig ears. See, they're already gotten hard. This morning they were real soft. But, um, yeah, they should be done in the morning. Charlie should be able to have him one. And you like them pig ears, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, give me one. There's the bottom tray. I rotate that was on the top and I put it on the the bottom and, and kind of just flip them over. Um you can see that's a thick end right there. See, we've got some pig ear hair right there. I don't know if that really is. I just said that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he's got three full trays here of that $7 package of pig ears that I got. And, um, yeah, so we'll look forward to those in the morning. Right, Charlie? You like pig ears? Yeah, I'm not talking. Okay, so we'll be back in the morning and we'll check these pig ears, so. Say goodnight, Charlie. Goodnight, Charlie. Okay, so here we are this morning. Not even six o'clock. Let's look at Charlie's pig ears. Ooh, look how pretty those are. They're nice and hard. 
they're dehydrated fine. When Charlie gets up, he'll be in here wanting him one. Look at that. You can just see them glistening with a little oil. It's really good for Charlie's skin. That's his favorite treat right there. Well, except for pepperonis. He's going to love that one. That one's going to take him a little while to eat. But, yeah, if you want to do your dog a favor, make him some pig ears. Get them at the grocery store. They're in the meat section. And bring them home and put them in a dehydrator. They love them. That's their dog's favorite treat. Now, my girlfriend, like I said, she had some for her dogs, but she bought them at the store. And they're whole pig ears. And they would just be laying around on her carpet. And it would just they'd just go chew on it like a bone. And then go off and then come back and chew on it later. But anyway, when Charlie gets up, I will videotape him getting one. And you'll see his little happy dance all the way to the living room to eat on it. <laughs> Charlie? Charlie? You ready for a pig ear? Mama got you a pig ear. Watch whenever I give it to him. He gets that happy dance. He's going to take it to his rug. Here, Charlie. Mmm. Yum, yum. He goes, oh, I like that. <laughs> he loves it, them pig ears, man. I've trained him since he's a little puppy to go straight to that rug when he gets a biscuit or a treat or anything, so... There he is. He got his pig ear and he is happy. He'll be busy on that for a little bit. Say thank you, Mama. So while he's in there, I'll just show you like all these pig ears. I'll just get a baggie and let them cool. Charlie will have him some pig ears. You know, I don't give them to him that often. I mean, like, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks. Um, but he does love those. And look how pretty they are. I mean, and even though they're pig ears, I, they don't smell the house up like bacon. They don't even smell it at all. You don't hardly even smell it. But it's definitely not... not uh, the fragrance of bacon when it's cooking, but Charlie does love them. You can see he's still in there working on that pig ear. He'll be about 20 minutes on it, but get your dog some pig ears and make them yourself and don't give them those um, preservatives and chemicals that they put in those at the pet store. So, adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And take care of your little fur babies, because we love them.